good mythical morning. What if I just took that? Like I just started doing that every single morning. Good morning dudes, how are you today? I am sleepy. I, I've been going to sleep way later because me and my brother just stay up hanging out and being the good homies. And I'm like, I gotta get back on my schedule. So today, I woke up at like seven, which is insane, in this parking lot now. And instead of going to a skate park, I was like, yo, people have been recommending me learn hard flips better. I'm gonna sit here today and do, I'm gonna hate myself for this, 30 hard flips. First try. down. God. Dude, every single time. Oh my god. I'm never gonna get getting this trick, I'm sorry. Out here searching for the positive spin of that session. That was yeah, okay. I got some exercise. I did land 30 hard flips. Somehow they didn't get any better. Somehow by the 30th hard flip, they were no better than they were right when I started. That's definitely one of those tricks where I'm gonna have to do like hundreds and hundreds to get some kind of consistency. And it was so funny at the beginning how I landed every single one underturned. Did you see that? Every single one was just like do 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 like tick tack tick tack. I'm gonna figure that trick out. And also, this is really rough ground. I intentionally chose rough ground so that when I went to smooth ground, maybe the trick would just come more naturally. So that could be, that could be, it's all his fault. Today is responsibility day. These days usually start with me doing something that I've been putting off and I don't wanna do, and then it causes a chain reaction. I'm like, oh yeah, there's also this, and this, and this that I have to do. So I pretty much save everything for the same day. So right now, I go into the bank. Shorty, what do you drink? I actually had to come pick up the money. I just hit a car. I'm very sorry about that. Mother of freaking gosh. Oh my god, that was so stupid. So my camera was actually recording, I backed up and hit a car. For any time, right? That's right. I'm finally getting my front brakes fixed. They've actually been squealing for a couple days now, so hopefully he's not like, yeah, dude, you just broke the entire car. Anyways, what happened with the accident? As you can tell in the footage, I looked both ways. I think I looked left twice, and then I started backing up and I hit the car. The reason is because the car was parked directly behind me like this. And when I looked left and then right, by the time I looked straight, he started backing up. So then I backed up. We were both in the process of backing up, but he had gone farther, so technically, you know, like, yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to admit who's in blame, but you know, I hit him after he backed up. So of course I felt horrible about the situation because there was obvious damage on his car. And when he gets out, he was like, oh, it's okay, don't worry about it. So I think he didn't want to go through the whole legal issue or the situation. And I was just like, okay, well that's it. I mean, I kind of hit his car and he, I, you know, like he didn't want to get involved with insurance. So I was like, you know what? Do you want some money? So I literally gave the dude $200 because when I got the money for the shirt, when I withdrew the cash, I had extra cash. And I was like, yeah, I have an extra 200 on me. And then I just gave it to that guy. He was obviously very stoked to receive a little bit of money because he expected nothing at all from the situation. But for me, yeah, it sucks to lose money, but it's really, really easy for me to get past things like this. When things, are, when things happen and there's like nothing I can do about it, but there's nothing right now that I have to deal with because of the situation except for not having money that I wish I had. 
it's easy for me to move on. I've just been skating with absolutely no destination. One thing that I'm not used to at all, calling a lift. Yeah, hey. I don't know why a lift did that. I don't either. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. You gonna add a destination? I probably should. It is officially cut. You can't really see what's going on with it right now. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. My hairstylist lady, super attractive. And then she started talking about her girlfriend. And I was like, oh, I'm a girl. And you should break out with her and go out with me. And it worked really well. My sweet rose, won't you rest your pretty eyes and I'll be with you when the morning comes. Lay your bones on the alabaster stones, I'll be with you when the morning comes. I don't know where my brother is. I am extremely tired. It's about one o'clock right now. This is about the time of the day where I start crashing anyways, but I need to focus on um, a little bit of editing, a little bit of stuff that I gotta stuff, stuff, stuff. I won't have a car until 6 p.m. or so because I have to get my rotors changed out as well. Today is a day of money being, you know, like leaving my existence. Oh, H3H3 H3 uploaded a new video. I totally forgot to grab lunch. Hey, can I place an order for pickup? Sure, what can I get for you? Can I just get the falafel pita with fries? Oh, falafel sandwich and H3H3. H3. Living the absolute best life right now. I call this, um, ecstasy. Brother Hill has arrived in the scene. He came home. We were chilling, and we're like, what are we gonna do? Let's do, yeah, you're good. We're like, let's do something awesome. Um, so our version of awesome is going to Naples Island and just Naples kind of walking Island. around, exploring the area. That is a prostitute. Hmm. Sometimes you need like a little break, and then boom, you're like much better at it. You're getting better, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, hey, he's talking about my heartless right now, how I was sitting there like, yeah, the first one's decently bad, and the last one was even worse, and he's like, well, probably next time you get on it, because that's what happens, you kind of get stuck in the flow of doing tricks badly, doing things poorly, and then you come back at it, and then your brain is fresh, and you restart, and you're like, whoa, I'm good at this all of a sudden, which I'm hoping is going to be the case. Right now, we're going to Naples Island. What are we doing there? Oh, man, you don't even know, and neither do we. Me and my big old brother, man, we, we found out what we're going to do. We're just going to walk by the, uh, by the pretty things and look at stuff. Pretty stuff. Yeah, like that's like something that I guess runs in our family. We like looking at pretty things. Matthew, on a scale from one to Guantanamo Bay, what'd you think? Guantanamo <laughs> Bay? Yeah. Yeah, get closer to one. Guantanamo Bay is like the worst case scenario. No, it, was, it was extremely soothing. It was weird. The most inconvenient part was actually having the phone, which I thought was gonna be fun to film and do whatever, but then like you put it down, you have to make sure it's in your shirt, you can't get it wet and stuff, but it was so, so unbelievably peaceful. Uh, something I would definitely do in the future more. Yeah, we got lost. <laughs> we got lost like we three We got lost in a circle. Yeah. We had to go in a circle, we got lost. 
Oh hey, didn't see you there standing in my arms. Right now, I just got home. I, actually, I just got done hanging out with Vanny. I've sort of made a conscious decision not to really film us hanging out anymore. I probably will in the future, but I feel like that's better. Like a little bit of privacy, and sometimes I feel bad throwing people in my videos. I don't know why, it brings attention to them, whatever. Me and my brother are about to get dinner right meow. And I don't feel bad about my brother though, because he's a stupid, idiot, idiot head, stupid jerk. Hey Matt. Done with that dinner and it was absolutely <laughs> scrunch diddly schnumptious. Uh, we're going back to the place right now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end this vlog fairly soon because sleep has just nailed me in the head. Hey, I totally forgot to end the vlog yesterday because I fell asleep. I was tired, like I said, but I don't have any way to end this video. I just wanna wrap it up by saying thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking this video and subscribing. It means so much. I am so stoked that you guys are peeping these videos. It's been super fun making them lately and I've just had I've had a really good time doing them, and it's cool because the videos are doing really well. And I like that, so it's like, inevitably, it makes me happy, and that you guys are stoked to see the videos, and that you're sharing the videos, liking, whatever, all that stuff. Thank you guys a lot. See you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>